podcast. People are cool as fuck. Um, that's what we're talking about now. I'm trans. I'm non-binary. Um, most of my community is trans. We're all here for it. We all like they, them pronouns. You know, <clears throat> come, come, in, come in the chat. Who's got they, them pronouns? Who's got they, them pronouns in chat? Come on. Come on, I know, I, I know you queer motherfuckers have got they them pronouns, all right? You all got they them. Any, uh, the rest of you are all she they he they any all exactly. It's all any alls. I was still a little, th- yeah, I was still a little them, but come on, yeah, yeah, yeah. He he them. Okay, that's that's not too bad, you know. He in the nominative, them in the oblique case. Any all, any all, yeah. Go go any, all the any alls in chat, you know. I know it's all 34 of you. You're all, you're all, you're all gay. Cheese is gone, I'm afraid. She, they. Okay, she, they. She, they, gang. All right. Guys, the cheese is gone. We're talking about transphobia now. It's time. If you're called out, man, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm calling you out with love. All right. With love to all. Gender fluid, gang. We got the gender fluids in, in, in chat as well. Bye, gang. Well, you caught me. Where's all the other bisexuals? Where are the bisexuals? You're all bisexual. Everyone's bisexual. Heterosexuality doesn't actually exist. Lewa, you get a you get a you get a pass because you're a cool here him. Yeah, everyone's pan really. Okay, not everyone's pan, but everyone's bi. Like the term of flag, but uh, well, like I, I think that the, the kind of the difference, or like, or like the difference that has been explained to me, is like pansexual being like not caring about gender whatsoever, and bisexual being more like being a like potentially having a preference or being able to be attracted to any but like whatever pan and trans yeah see this is this is my audience my point has been made for me thank you thank you for your existence you're appreciated you're loved uh you know i know we all we all have our problems because uh um, gay people and uh, queer people are all like a minority or discriminated against especially if you're in the u.s right now Pansexual also, yeah, no, you know, I get what you mean, I get what you mean, but I like, no bi people are like, not attracted to non-binary people, you know what I mean? Like, I just tend to say that I'm bi because I'm like, I don't know, I don't know, it's, I don't know, it's just like a more normal, like a phrase I've, I've heard more, more, more often. And also like, I, I don't know, I, I feel like I'm, a, I'm attracted to different things in like, men, women, and non-binary people, I don't know, it's all just weird shit, isn't it? Above all, I just like calling myself queer, exactly, we're all queers, that's what matters, and queers, another queer walked in right here. And we're all queers, and um, fucking massive ass box of crackers. Yeah, number of cisgender straight people in the community is very low. You, how big this box of crackers is? You are all accepted and loved. The cisgender straight. People. The cisgender straight people. You are all accepted and loved, and I don't want. I don't mean to exclude you. We love you. We love you for it, as long as you know, as long as you're the good ones. Um. Yeah, but yeah, you know, you're, you're, you're all, uh, you're all good stuff, alright? However, what I'm talking about here is the transes, because, as we all know, in America, it's very hard to be trans right now, there's a, there's a big, um, there's a, there's a big problem with, uh, the, the epidemic of not trans people, but transphobia, um, in the UK as well. In the UK, it's really shit. Public opinion is turning against trans people. In the US, it's less of a public opinion problem and more of a legislation problem, the way uh, I, I, I see it anyway, or the way I've been told about it. And uh, yeah, transphobia has um, pretty bad, pretty bad consequences for real life people. And that's why we're going to talk about it here. We're going to talk about people. We're going to talk about someone who responded to my video. I've already watched through. 17 minutes or some shit of this? No, it's less than that. 13 minutes of this? It felt like longer. It felt like an hour. Alright. Gonna try to be trying to change my name soon. That's very cool. That's very cool. Um. It. Oh, oh, it's 27 minutes long. <laughs> it's 27 minutes responding to me, telling me that I'm wrong about they, them pronouns. So far, we've made zero points. We've, you know, we've said nothing about anything, apart from just, like, agreeing with me on basic linguistic principles and then using it as a jumping off point to be transphobic. Why does it have to be that long? Because she shows my entire video in her response. It which I'm like, doing as well. It would so, be really know. good, because, like, I assume at some point, if, uh, if you make a clips video, or just in general, yeah. it's gonna, 
don't include her in the clips, right? And then she has to go like watch three to three hours of cheese tasting to make sure that she gets all of our points. I don't think she would. I don't think. She no, I am going to include her in the clips. This is stuff people want to say. No, right. this is. No, the video didn't even say anything. Absolutely, the video didn't have anything to say. It just like it talked about fucking Grice's maxims <laughs> for like seven minutes. Um, okay, but I will be re- responding to the next 14 minutes because I don't want to get abolished in the marketplace of ideas, you know. Uh, I do want to show you all... Which was what was going to happen, you know. You know. I was too scared. I was too scared by this, this like big ways. brain. <laughs> yeah, also ad revenue. No, a- absolutely, because it will get clicks. So, um, so then and I'll get out. Will, ad- go to will it? Will it? I should say. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, last no, because I can't tell what ad revenue... Actually, wait. Last time you said the VOD revenue would go. Oh yeah, the yeah, the VOD revenue will, but like you know the, the clips, you know clips, the clips. I don't know. It depends how lucrative they are. <laughs> no, I will try. I will no. I, I will um, <laughs> clips from this. I but... put you on the spot, and now you have to give money to charity. Yeah. <laughs> and, um... Clips from this stream will probably, if I can, if I have a way to do it, um, I'll put them the ad revenue towards Razom, um, or I'll like. If I have to manually calculate how much ad revenue it made, I'll probably just like give Razom fifty quid. You know what I mean? But like, um, you know, if 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 it tell you know if it's, if there's a specific setting or something on YouTube and I can tell the exact money amount of money this video made me, then I'll, I'll, I'll obviously donate it. Right. Anyway, there's no plank stick clip coming up. All right, we're t- we've talked about that. We've done that. I know, as in he, uh, they can't wa- wait for it in the clips. Oh, in the clips video. <laughs> was, I don't know if it's going to make a big clips video. I'm just going to make several videos that are clips. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because like that makes more sense, and it's also easier to do because I don't have to edit through everything. Yes. Um, right. Maybe I maybe I'll upload that just for you, <laughs> occasional art. Um, okay. So we've got another fourteen minutes left of this video. <laughs> it's very frustrating to watch. Do we have a summary? Uh, so f- well, there's not really so much to, to summarize because so far, <laughs> you're <a> your racist. <laughs> but they, <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll upload. What the top is the tank engine cock? <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> it was very funny though. <laughs> <laughs> I got some people think so. Um. Oh, the video on transphobia is long for ad revenue. That's probably true, actually. I don't know if this person gets any ad revenue. Actually, they're four thousand subscribers. They probably get some ad revenue. Oh, sorry, I said I don't that... know if there's any ads on it though, are there? Because they'd be yellow on the timeline. Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah, there's nothing to summarize because you didn't actually make any points, exactly. <laughs> I guess people can go and watch it in their own time. Um Well no, but like, like it's true. That Basically kind of she's just up. being the catch transphobic. Up is that a lot of the time she's been missing the point and then responding to something that was never said. Well she's not been missing the point, she's been ignoring the point because she just has like she has an agenda. But she, you know, she just has things to say, and then she decides to say them regardless of what I say. Um, so, our crisis maxims are exist, so then they them. Yeah, that is literally that is literally all the argument that's been made in this video so far. Um, that person should make a twenty-seven minute long video about the short meme you uploaded about French people when you misgender a noun. True, I would watch that. I would watch that for the content, for the clicks and views. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go. I'm nervous, as always, you know. I'm quaking in your boots. I'm quaking in my boots. Alright. The use of man as a stand-in for human, like in all men are created equal. No, it's literally nothing like that at all. <laughs> what? How is it nothing like that at all? Come on, come on, man. Give me credit, you know. Human, like in all men are created equal. How is- Okay, so what we're talking about here is the generic he, right? We're talking about the fact that the generic he, using the, the he to cover all humans when we don't know their gender, is- very similar to using the word man as a stand-in for human. I would wonder if she's going to make an argument from etymology here, which would be very interesting. I did put the, you know, if, you've re- if you're re- making a 27-minute response video to someone, you should probably read the notes. Because if we go to my video, which I assume is the video linked in the description, yes, thank you. If we go to my video and scroll down to note three, I'm I'm just anticipating her argument here. She, I might be completely wrong, and then we'll see. But if we scroll down to note three, note of course that man was originally the word for human and only later came to mean male adult. An old English man was word and woman was with, which is true, which is where like where man and with man come from, right? Which is where werewolf comes from. However, it doesn't matter from a synchronic perspective. I'm arguing from the, about this synchronically. 
I, I have no clue if I just like completely missed what she's about to say, but either way, it's a good point to, to bear in mind. Oh, and, and synchronically means at this time, like with, without appealing to history. Like this specific argument I was talking about, you know, how... Um, how she's currently. How, how it's, yeah. At, at, at this particular time, what do, we, what do we say about man being like the default? All right. No, it's literally nothing like that at all. Uh, man used to actually not refer to either specifically no. males or females. Yeah. Man was the word for human. And then if you wanted to specify a male or female human, the forms were were-man and with-man. Which is what I said. Yeah. Later, with men split into woman and wife, and were-man just dropped the where, yeah. and man became a male human specifically. Yes, but this doesn't matter. The, my point is that the etymology of these words doesn't matter. Because the phrase, all men are created equal, still has the connotation of maleness, because your average person walking around doesn't know that, do they? Your average person walking around doesn't know that he used to be the word for they. Yeah, did you know that? He actually just, just used to mean they, alright? We used to have the same pronoun for they and, and, and singular and plural, just differentiated by, by um, verb conjugation. Anyway, sorry, this is just... <laughs> but yes, no, but it's, it's a very stupid point. Um, like, it's a minor point in the video I made, but it, it just kind of, it just kind of... It does kind of accurately show where this person's, where her priorities lie in kind of linguistic, like pretending to have linguistic, well, she has linguistic knowledge without a linguistic understanding, right? Just have using the linguistic knowledge to promote small gotchas and stuff. I think the comparison is very, very clear since we're talking about the 1750s at which point these words have already split off and were split off for a long time relatively you know and we and everyone in the 1750s even wouldn't know that man and woman weren't there that man was originally the larger form of human also we can talk about why it wasn't that etymologically man became you know we, we talked about we have the word man for human, and that became that was seen as default enough to become the word for man, for, for like male person, right? I mean, you know, we can talk about what, what, why, why was, why would, why did it go that etymological route rather than the other way round, or splitting into where and with? Why was it that the word that used to mean human became the word for male human? It's these kinds of questions that you've got to ask when you bring up etymological arguments that completely breaks down this argument, though, which is why she's not asking them. And it's this kind of, it's this kind of oversight that I'm talking about when I'm saying that she doesn't really understand linguistics. She just knows terms and history about it without understanding it or engaging, it, engaging in it. And, and the rest is history. But a generic he still conjures up the image of a man when you read it. It suggests that the default human is a male one. Despite this, the generic he continued to be advocated- She shouldn't- yeah, she shouldn't disagree with that because she claims to be a feminist, so. ...for by grammarians in the coming centuries because singular they violated number agreement and he or she was too clunky. Even in 1985, language columnists were arguing for it with the phrase, the male embraces the female. The thing is, this usage can be dangerous. A lot of the time, this he was generic, right up until it was politically expedient for it to be explicit. Wow, this video is so good and based. I, I've forgotten how great my videos are. <laughs> Yeah, you know what's dangerous? Not having a definition of woman in law. <laughs> okay, I'd like to see why this is dangerous. Why? Affected and rooted in sex. Because our rights as females under the Constitution in the United States are as Our especially... rights as females. You, you didn't... We were worried about this person's gender earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our no, rights. Right. All is good. Your rights as females under the Constitution of the United States? What rights are you referring to? Do, do we want to do a little quick reading of the Constitution of the United States? We're gonna, we're gonna... <clears throat> we're gonna, we're gonna look at, have a look at the little Constitution, right? Hmm. Women. Female. Woman. Well, do we have a man or is it just mana? Is it just like other fucking words that have man in them? 
Gilman. Oh, these are the amendments to, the, to like. The amendments are part of the constitution. I mean, the amendments are obviously part of the constitution, but I. I, I, Would I you th did you assume she meant like? But I, it doesn't matter because there's no there's no mention of women in the constitution. Maybe I'm wrong, guys. Come on, maybe maybe the um, Senate.gov doesn't actually f tell you the full constitution. Or does she mean that it that we should have? It's all just not online. Yeah. Someone did just not. I'm not being scared. Sorry. Hello. Hello. Well, yeah, no, but, but like what she what she just said was. What's dangerous? Not having a definition of woman in law that's respected and rooted in sex. Because our rights as females under the Constitution... You don't have any rights as females under the Constitution. They don't exist. Um, I mean, like, not that women shouldn't have rights. Like, don't, don't fucking... Again, don't clip me. I know I'm clippable. But, like... Does Google search... Um, search man, not man. Oh, yes! Man space! So it doesn't matter either way. Alright. Um, gender must be laid down in law. This is exactly, right? Like, it's already a social institution, and if you cared about your rights as, uh, like, a person with, like, uh, with, of, of, like, a female sex, like an XX chromosome's right, then you can write that in law. And I'm not really sure what law you would write, right? There are laws that respect the rights of women, and there are laws that aren't. I don't know, like, abortion laws or whatever. You know, like, talking about biological females, I guess. But, like, what... What laws? What is challenging? What is challenging your rights? What is, you know, what are you scared of? What is the problem? Specifics. I give in my video, which I'm sure we're about to see, two specific answers. Two specific examples. Right? Draft laws like military draft. Oh! That's a good one, but like I don't care about draft laws. <laughs> That's the thing, right? That's actually true. That is the one case. That is true. But like, what would you do? Like, you should have gender neutral drafting, right? In Sweden, it's gender neutral. The draft is gender neutral. I I, I don't understand what the problem is. Do we need big strong men all the time? Selective services in the US requires trans- But like, that's stupid! That's stupid as shit, isn't it? Right? Because like, you think trans women would make good soldiers? <laughs> I'm sorry, like, I don't mean to be bigoted to all of you, but like, have you seen fucking trans women? Alright, come on. Come on, I have the trans women in my server, alright? You guys are like- You guys are like, worse than cis women at being soldiers. That's so- it's like- it's like fucking awful. Oh, the US should have no drafting? Yeah, the US should have no drafting, of course. Like, um, whereas trans men are like the biggest bully- like, they'll like, run into anything. Like, all the trans men I know are like the manliest men you've ever met, you know? With big muscles, ready to like, ch you know. Like, if we're actually talking about army efficacy here, like, come on. Who's really gonna be- who's- who's realistically gonna be better if you put them in like with like an AK and a uh, they don't use AKs because those are Russian guns, but you know if they, you put them in a, in a in an army suit and stuff, preferably there'd be no draft. Yes, preferably preferably there'd be no draft, and then this problem would be solved. Oh yeah, Scoop, um, Scoop, you're cool. I'm not actually like shouting at you. Like I I know that you you're like agreeing with me. I'm just like getting annoyed at the US, the US legal system and laws. War is cringe. That's such a hot take, and I agree. You know you can clip me on that one. Don't clip me on the ones that make me seem racist or extremely, like, sexist. Um, but yeah, no. She's not going to give any specific examples because there aren't any. If she does give specific examples, obviously they're going to be bullshit and we'll see. But I, I just, I doubt she will because, like, the, the examples will probably be, like, bathrooms. <laughs> which is like, yeah, that was really regulated in, in the constitution before. Um, yeah, monkeys are also violent. Doctor Who fan Jay. They can also be violent. Um, but yeah, no, uh, <laughs> but like, yeah, the, the constitution doesn't, doesn't say shit about what women are. But yeah, back when, back when George Washington wrote the constitution, he was like, I, I don't know who wrote the fucking constitution, I'm not American. You, Americans in chat, correct me, when they will, and he was like, I, I, there shall be no trans women. In women's bathrooms, we the people declare. Um, 
But at least it's not with massive guns and bombs. True. True, this is better. This is better than the current kind of wars that we have now. Anyway, we're going to keep reacting to this person. <sighs> ...in the United States, are uh, especially such as the 19th Amendment, it explicitly relates to sex. Alright, let's see what it... The right of the... Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. The right of citizens of the United States to vote shall not be denied or abridged by the United States or by any state on account of sex. Okay. Here we found it. Here we found what she's referring to. The rights of women. So what? <laughs> so, it doesn't say women. That doesn't, we don't care about the, 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 like, the definition of woman here. We're talking about biological sex, we're just saying, you know, regardless of your biological sex, you should be able to, to, to vote. You know? Is that, is that a, it, does, does, is that contradictory to, like, uh, what are we, the gender ideologues? You know? I'm just like, I'm just like readjusting this shit, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, just so like you can see more of my screen. Ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> I know, I'm annoying you. Okay. But alright. <clears throat> this way I can also see chat. <laughs> now I'm realizing that I don't know who wrote the Constitution. See, Americans don't know either. It's all fine. It was written by a group of people. Yeah. Um... Yeah, a lot of people don't follow the Constitution letter for letter. And, and also, like, okay. <laughs> you can just like see each other the corner. I'm sorry. It's so shit. The setup is so bad. I'll fix it in 10 years time when I don't stream anymore. Um, but yes. Uh, oh yeah, it was written by written by Obama. Sorry, I forgot. Yeah. Okay, so when Obama wrote the Constitution uh, in 1920, he said, Amendment XIX. The rights of citizens of the United States to vote shall not be denied or abridged by the United States or by any state on account of sex. It doesn't matter. Because... Because we already say this. You know what I'm- you know what I mean? Like, even if trans women exist and we say that, oh, they have like a male sex or whatever, which isn't even perfectly true if they medically transition. Um, but... Oh, sorry, um, Obama wasn't born in the USA. Sorry, forgot about- forgot about that. Oh, you're off to eat plank stick, have fun. <laughs> um, but... Yes, I- I just- I don't- I don't see the problem here. Sex will exist either way, like, we're not trying to abolish sex as a concept. I like sex, you know? We like- you know. Everyone- One in chat for all those who like sex, you know? But uh, I, I, I just I don't I fail to see the problem. Okay. So when you get rid of the idea of sex, when you get rid of the idea that women are female, then then you get rid of protections for women on the basis of our sex, which means they can discriminate against us based on entailments of our sex, like having a womb like menstruating, like this and that, and it's no longer sex discrimination. She's jumping around a lot. She was talking about the. 14th Amendment, which is what we were reading about, so the first point there is, um, like, like we, as we discussed, kind of meaningless, like, yeah, we, we can just, we can just keep not discriminating against people based on sex. We're not trying to abolish the definition of sex, we're just trying to separate it from that of gender, um, so of course, you know, this is dishonesty, she knows that, everyone knows that who's argued against trans activists for a second, uh, this is complete dishonesty. She's lying. She's literally, she's implicitly lying here. There's some some Grice's maxims for you <laughs> for the, with the fucking implicit um, <laughs> un the underlying rules of conversation here. Yes. Okay. The second thing she said here was about rooms and shit. Okay. I care about rooms. I like it when people have the right to keep their womb free of fetuses that they don't want. What the fuck does it have to do with gender, though? 
Like, <laughs> we're like, what the fuck are we talking about? You know? Literally nothing to do with each other. Completely irrelevant. Completely unrelated. I'm serious. There's no, there's no, like, there is no point when you go through the abortion process where the doctor's like, well, what is your gender according to the Twitter gender ideologues? You know, there's no point you need to declare, like, trans men and just non-binary people can also get abortions. We're talking about the rights to bodily autonomy. The right to abortion is just a right that people should have regardless of their gender. Protections for women on the basis of our sex, which means they can discriminate against us based on entailments. This is just not sex, true. This is lot. This is like this is just a lie. And it's no longer sex discrimination because sex isn't real anymore. That's just that is just a lie. Obviously, we don't want to make sex not real anymore. All right. Again, love sex. Okay. And we don't have a right to single sex spaces because men can be women. Ah, well, there we go. It all comes back to trans bathrooms, doesn't it? It all comes back to trans bathrooms. I want facts. I want specific cases. Uh, well, not. I do not want specific cases. Sorry, I shouldn't say that because then they'll come out with like the, the super specific, like fucking one trans woman who was a rapist. And it's like, yeah, this person's a shit per No, I don't want specific cases. I want specific evidence, all right? I want evidence as to the contrary nature you know? You know, it's like the famous fact, like, in women's bathrooms in the US, you know, you know there's been more? Yeah, give data, not anecdote, obviously, but she's not even giving an anecdote yet. I'm, maybe she'll go on to it, but like, so far there hasn't even been a fucking anecdote. Doesn't Europe already have ungendered bathrooms? Yes, and it doesn't increase rape rates. It- because- because there's just more people, like, <clears throat> Some people predicted that it would decrease the rape rates, which it just doesn't seem to do either. But, like, the argument for it decreasing would just be that there's more people around at any given time because everyone's in, like, the same kind of space. But, like, you know, it, it seems to just, like, have literally no effect uh, on the rate of, like, rapes of women. Um, this is it's just, like, a made-up issue. It's not a, it's not a real problem. Um, obviously, she's showing, like... Obviously, it's just transphobia because, like, we, we hear the language here, right? isn't real anymore. And we don't have a right to single-sex spaces because men can be women. Because men can be women. Men can't be women. That's not what we're arguing. Men can't be women. Um, well, maybe you know, some of you, some of you can. Some of you fucking queers can be can be men and women at the same time. That's true. But like, this is not the general argument for binary trans people, is it? Um, I mean, obviously, obviously, this isn't debunking my video. This is just complete tangential. But her tangents are also bigoted and incorrect. She's, you know, she's. I've been to a unisex bathroom before, yes. I too have been to a unisex bathroom. In London. In London, in Stockholm, all the bathrooms are unisex, pretty much. It's, ter it's terrible. They're taking over. I feel unsafe. Um, but, like, no one does feel unsafe, because everyone just gets on with it. Because people, you know. Because, like, at the end of the day, rape is already illegal. <laughs> like, I know... People do drain gang, yeah. <laughs> uh, but like, I know people, um, sorry, I was just responding to Scoob Too Cool in chat, saying drain gang. But like, I know, I know people kind of get annoyed at this point, but at the end of the day, rape is illegal already, you know? And there's nothing about the bathroom door, the women sign on there, that magically repels men. I think the only way you can like genuinely have concerns over like the ambiguity around who's what gender um, increasing like sexual cr sex crime is I, I think potentially you can talk about cases of indecent exposure where the legality of it changes based on whether someone's a man or a woman. But this Other is because of the homophobic nature of the fucking indecent exposure laws. Yeah, this is also true because obviously well, yeah, yeah, no. This, this because of because um, for some reason, exposing yourself as a woman to a woman isn't as bad, or whatever, without their um, consent, you know, like yeah. Um, or I think it's also like just not having a penis changes it as well. Um, but yeah, no, it's weird. Not having a, yeah, not having a penis does change everything, you know. Apparently, um, but I don't pay attention to other people when I'm using the bathroom. 
Based. Based. That's the Um, base thing to do. But I think stuff like that is really the only... Well, because it's stuff like... um, like There was, like, the Jessica Unique case where it was, like, is a business transphobic for not for not providing what's generally an all women's service to someone who's trans you know if oh like, yeah was that's that... also like some shaver didn't want to give a bikini wax i mean saunas exist trans- they're mostly unisex well this is the thing right this is like in sweden we don't really care about this shit yeah. so much i mean not that sweden isn't like a super transphobic place but it's for like other reasons like no one pretends that it's about any of this shit because like no one cares about this shit in sweden they they have other you know it's like but anyway sorry yeah. the point yeah. being even in the cases where you can say that right to self-identify or whatever makes difference in the legality of whether someone's committing a sex crime or not or how severe that sentence well, is re- then the solution to that is still just improve trans healthcare so it doesn't really matter surely well, I, the, the solution is to improve trans healthcare and to improve the law exactly like the legal well like because of the specific case where you trans mentioned banned. <laughs> yeah because the specific case where you which you mentioned obviously the trans individual in that case was in the wrong very clearly and the courts also cited against her yes because exactly. <laughs> you know that, yeah, that's the other thing to mention that even when these cases these very niche cases yes. do happen in reality <laughs> most of the time the woke left doesn't win no the woke left do- no, well, also i'm not sure the woke left wanted jessica oh yeah yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the, joke, like, the woke left was very much hoping for her to lose i'm sure there is other cases that's just like the unique ones that like more known it was quite famous we and love imaginary sure threats to our safety because patriarchy doesn't pose any issue that's kind of true like Lindsay, that's kind of actually true. Like it's it's like the threat <laughs> to women's safety is just like the patriarchy and like I'm I'm sorry. I just it's like the famous fact that more more Republican. You know, m- there's been fewer rapes of women in women's bathrooms by trans women in the U.S. in the history of the entire United States. Then there has been rapes by Republican male senators on women in women's bathrooms. Because this has happened at least two times. Male Republican senators walking into women's bathrooms and raping women there. Obviously the trans women one has happened zero times, which is why it's it's less. Yeah, oh yeah, legit, yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, 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 absolutely. Well, uh, yeah, actually, I think it's happened one time. I think it's kind of funny. I think it's actually happened um, one time now. The trans woman raping a woman in a in a woman's bathroom. It's still less. It's still fewer, yeah. That's practically a GOP right, but yeah. Do you really believe it's only two? There's nah. I'm sorry. These these fuckers are like. Why you raps? Yes, I I would love big up Najar. Big up Najar. I would I would, you know, mm. like you really think Matt Gates is like never done yeah yeah more fuck food. that right like there's not been enough food consumed on this stream. I'm just thinking if we're eating before we end stream. Yeah yeah no you should go. go, go, go. Then we should go now. Am I stealing some of your cash from you can steal. an ATM? You can steal my cash. It'll be like four or five quid, whatever. Is it three quid, four quid? Something like that. I think I've only got like a tenner. Oh, okay. But. Well, that, that works out. I will just. Yeah. I will pay you back from my spare change. Don't, don't worry, you don't need to do that, babe. Falafel, falafel wrap, presumably. Falafel and hummus wrap. Yeah. Uh, falafel, hummus, potato. Oh, the spicy potato. The spicy one. potato one, because I like the same thing multiple times. Sauce? Sauce, hummus. Hummus. Perfect. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Anyway, carrying on with this train wreck of a video. I, I, that fact, I'm not actually sure if it's true anymore because it was true like a few. Sorry, I just messed up my computer completely. I'm the worst. It was true like a couple years ago, but now maybe some trans women have raped or some people, or maybe some maybe some GOP senators have raped some some women. I mean that that one's kind of likelier. They have a pretty high concentration of that. All right, sorry. Carry on. Male women exist. It, that's what's actually dangerous. That's what actually exposes women to pregnancies, which otherwise would not happen because. What the fuck is? <laughs> Sorry, what? And we don't have a right to single-sex spaces because men can be women. Male women exist. It, that's what's actually dangerous. Yes, male male sexed women do exist. This is true. That's what actually exposes women to pregnancies, which otherwise would not happen because you can't make a pregnancy without a sperm and an egg. What the fuck is she talking about? What the fuck does that have to do with anything? Do you see what I mean that transphobia is a mental illness? Okay, people like Rosie got mad at me earlier for saying this, and some people in chat also kind of got kind of got annoyed at me. But it's like this is what it does to your brain. Like, what the fuck is she talking about? 
There's nothing, nothing, nothing going on. Do you get, yeah, Thomas, you, you, you're agreeing with me? You get what I mean? Like, there's just nothing. It's not just that there's no facts. It's just like, what the fuck was this sentence? Sex discrimination because sex isn't real anymore. And we don't have a right to single sex spaces because men can be women. Male women exist. It, that's what's actually dangerous. That's what actually exposes women to pregnancies, which otherwise would not happen because you can't make a pregnancy without a sperm and an egg. I think it's more of a symptom. I don't know. I don't know. I think transphobia in and of itself, like you go deep down that rabbit hole, like any kind of bigotry, it just kind of rots your brain. Because I, I, I think like in and of itself, like maintaining your bigotry in the face of facts forces you to choose to either change your beliefs or just like, just like fucking. Um, like not care about facts anymore, which is, yeah. This sounds psychotic. Yes, it does sound psychotic. Uh, the, <laughs> the thing is though, this can be, it can be due to a situation such as Christianity. What do you mean by that? Same thing. Lindsay, that's so true. I didn't even think about that. I'm sorry, because I, yeah. Same, the, the implication of this is that same sex, assault, same sex sexual assault isn't as bad as different sex assault. Like, the only reason, like, the ability to get pregnant might be a bigger problem is because of difficulty to access, like, abortions. But, like, the sexual crime in and of itself, same sex, same sex sexual assault happens and is just as bad. It's just some anger rambling. I don't think it necessarily... I'm not saying it stems from mental illness. I'm saying it is the mental illness, all right? That's what I'm saying. Um, like, what I'm saying is that you have to choose when being this bigoted to either, like... When, when being this bigoted, you, you have to either choose to ignore facts, reject logic, and kind of become like this, or you have to change your, your opinions, you know what I mean? News, I don't really know what you were talking about, but like, please explain. I Like, not in a mean way, I just gen I'm genuinely interested in what you were talking about. In 1881, the Detroit Free Press reported that- Here we go, my specific, specific examples of where the generic he is bad, as opposed to her insane ramblings. Belva Lockwood, who was already a practicing lawyer in the District of Columbia, was denied access to the Maryland bar because the state law used the pronouns he and him when talking about lawyers, and Lockwood was a woman. When Lockwood brought up another article of the code, stating that the masculine shall be held to include all genders except where such construction- Also note that the literal code says all genders, it doesn't just say both genders. Like, I just, I think that's incredibly interesting. I don't, I don't think that proves anything or whatever. I just think it's interesting that they like, they already had that in the code at the time. Because I, I looked at this article from 1881 and that is what is written in the 1881 article. It would be absurd and unreasonable. The court allegedly responded, it would be absurd and unreasonable to apply the pronouns. He she's gonna, she's gonna use this for transphobia, isn't she? She's gonna be like, yeah, ha, huh, you can't apply he and him to a woman. And him to a woman. No, ladies, uh, they theming yourself will not protect your rights the only thing that will protect your rights in law is a protection of your rights in law. What the fuck is she talking about? That's just... I'm sorry for swearing, you know, I'm sorry to all the kids. But this was not a response to what I said. Like, am I going crazy? Chat, can you tell me? Like, I'm not going crazy, am I? Like, you know, you will get what I'm saying in that video section. And this is a complete non sequitur. To a woman. No, ladies. Uh, they, them, and yourself will not protect your rights. The only thing that will protect your rights in law is a protection of your rights in law. Yes, I I agree. I agree. I'm not saying that you should... I think what she's saying is that she thinks that my solution to the generic he being used in law, right? I think she thinks that what I'm saying is that women should start using they, them pronouns in order to avoid sexism. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's literally what she thinks I'm trying to say. Whereas really what I'm trying to say is that you shouldn't use generic he in precise language. Well, the thing is, the linguistics were just an aesthetic, right? Because she just happens to know about linguistics, so she just spurts a bunch of a bunch of linguistic knowledge without understanding again. Oh, Noose, you're talking about your parents have had transphobia drilled into them from like, I don't know, quite a while due to skewed and blinded to reality. This is true. 
This is true, actually. You 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 are you are right, but I just feel like at the point when you're exposed to a certain amount of facts, you either have to deny reality, you have to go the denying reality route, or the changing your mind route. She says she's a linguist, yet uses they them as a verb. Well, let's not be all prescriptivist. She can do what she wants. She can have her crazy words, you know, kids these days. Uh, that makes her argument even- oh yeah, it makes her argument less coherent, yes, but I think that is literally what she thinks. Like, listen to this, I- I don't see how this can make sense in any other way. Ladies, uh, they them and yourself will not protect your rights. The only thing that will protect your rights in law is the protection of your rights in law. Oh yeah, she's a turf. Luca, M Mas Luca Masencio, she is a turf. Uh, she describes herself in her bio as an ex-trans gender critical gender atheist, because she doesn't believe in the religious cult of, of the genders, peoples. Um, but yes, yeah, she she's a turf. She, and for those who don't know who turf is, which I'm sure most people do who are in my chat, but yeah, it's basically like um, uh, transphobes who dress up as feminists, pretend to care about like feminism for a bit, just to shit on trans women. Mostly trans women. Trans men as well, but trans men, it's like this kind of paternal condescending like you know you, you know you're just so confused and want to escape your role in the patriarchy you know and but and to trans women it's just like genocidal hatred yes yes that is true but if your community is saying something it's hard to break out of it it becomes kind of like a net no i agree yeah no, so you, you you are right i i am speaking a bit too harshly but i think it's different when you like start posting videos about it on the internet you know what i mean yes I would say detransitioned because you know, it it doesn't matter to her points. It's completely irrelevant to her points. But yes, um, but yes, uh, I you know, she calls herself ex trans, which is, as someone pointed out in chat earlier, kind of, kind of gives the the sort of the whole ex gay like conversion therapy feel. But yeah, news. I, I, yeah, I, 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 I get that you mean it more so generally. I should have been. I should have definitely been nicer with my with my language. But I'm not going to be nice to her because she's just like a spiteful person. Because like as much as I, I get that g different environments can like influence your upbringing and stuff. At the end of the day, these people hate me. <laughs> you know, like these people hate me and people like me. And like, you know, you know what the end result is, right? I, I, I want you to understand this to, to an extent. Like, I don't, I don't want to fear monger. This is not fear mongering. I just mean the end point of their ideology, right? Like, ultimately, what is their ideology? It's that there need to be less trans people. Which either means, you know, forcibly detransitioning and stopping the... St you know, stopping people from being able to transition, which is, like, horrible and goes against their right to bodily autonomy. Or... It just means killing them, right? Like you know, the, the ultimate, the ultimate message here, or the ultimate implicit message, is not that we care about the rights of women. It's just hatred. Um, but you know, obviously, this is an incredibly stupid point. I forgot what she said. The only thing that will protect your rights in law is the protection of your rights in law. True. We should protect everyone's rights in law. I agree. Thank you. Yeah, oh yeah, Lindsay, yeah, the gender atheist thing, yes, that is what she's, that, that is why she calls herself that. And that requires that you be labeled in an objective fashion. Does it, though? Okay, guys, how many times does the word human or person appear in law? Person? Do we want to look up the US Constitution? I don't know if it's in the US Constitution, but, um... Where's the, where, where did I find the fucking Constitution again? Uh, I'm the worst. I, I literally... I, sh I shouldn't be allowed to. It was on, like, the Senate website, man. Where Where is this shit? Um... The only thing that will make you taller is an increase in your height. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, who cares? Ain't she arguing against trans rights like arguing with all people should have rights? Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I agree that we should protect everyone's rights and law. Person! Here we go, yes. 49 times in the uh, Constitution of the United States, which she referred to earlier. Person. 
Can anyone give me a um? What is what? What was it she said? Is a protection of your rights and law, and that requires that you be labeled in an objective fashion. And the only objective way to label somebody is based on their circumstance of being adult, female, and human, all at the same time. Okay, that's, firstly, obviously she misspoke that she didn't mean that the only way to label someone is if they're those three things. She meant that's the only way to label someone a woman. But how do you label someone in an objective, scientific fashion a person? I'd like to see that. I'd like to see the objective, scientific definition of person, you know, nice and big, very simple, very, you know, Wait, I'm, I've gained a hundred subscribers since then. <laughs> Random number generator, did you- did you really- yeah. Well, like, yeah, we've- we've got persons here. We're talking about persons. And persons is not a- is not a scientific, biological... category. We talk about these kinds of categories all the time, and we use them in law because we know what they mean, even though they don't have objective scientific categories. Did I actually gain 100 subscribers since the stream started? That's kind of crazy. But yeah. I, I hope you guys get what I mean. Um, intersex people, like... Well, she doesn't care about intersex. Do you, you really think this woman cares about the rights of intersex people? Like, what are you, insane? No, she doesn't give a shit. Um, and that's why we should protect people both on sex and gender. Both of them. Right? Right? Like, you know, if we protect people both on sex and gender, then... Uh, wow! Problem solved! Amazing! I, I just solved her entire problem with gender ideology. We can protect both! Anyway, I think the uh, the more general mental problem you're describing is a lack of openness. Quite ironically, double think, knowing and rejecting facts. I've seen people being like this with a lot of stuff. That's true. I, I shouldn't call it a. I I apologize for my earlier use of my earlier hyperbolic use of language. You know, I should be more of a. You know, but you know, if anyone got offended, they should learn to take a joke. Because uh, you know, I'm just I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding with you all. You know. And uh, comedy, we're allowed comedy, right? There's no no one here's gonna gonna be mad at me for having some comedy. And and in my defense, she does seem crazy, doesn't she? Thank you. All at the same time. In 1916, so-called U.S. originalists tried to stop Jeanette Rankin from sitting in Congress using the exact same logic, the gendered pronouns in the U.S. Constitution, when talking about congressmen. Oh yeah, Elon legalized comedy. So okay, I'm I'm, I'm all in the good. <laughs> I'm all in the clear for this one. People started trying to avoid both the generic he and the ungrammatical singular they, which led to a wave of neologistic pronouns which could do the job. That's why you get word like von, a contraction of von. The one invented by Charles C. Converse in 1858. That's right, the neo-pronoun thon, thon self, is older than the theory of natural selection. She's gonna be like, so what? Who cares? You know, when li literally, like, yeah. this is just That's a fucking right. joke. The neo-pronoun thon, thon self, is older than the theory of natural selection. Yeah, like, note four. You see this note four here? Right, we go to the video. Note four? Do you know what I wrote in note four just for people like her? Note four. Joke. <laughs> Because it was a joke. I mean, it's true. This is this is true. But like, it doesn't. Like, it's true that this fact is true that Don Don self is older than on the origin of species, right? But that doesn't mean it's literally older than the theory of natural selection. It's older than the first published work on the theory of natural selection. I didn't want to have to write that because it's less of a punchy joke. Note four. Joke and. As Luca reminded us, Elon has legalized comedy, so I'm allowed to say this. Selection. Yeah, and look how well it's taken off. This, this isn't how language works. Oh, she isn't actually talking about that? Oh, huh. Works, but none of these have really caught up. Well, like, that's what I say, yeah. Yet. And so the singular thing. Literally what I say in the next fucking frame is that none of these caught up. Also, her idea that this isn't how language works is completely wrong. We coin new terms all the fucking time. All the time. Things catch on. Some things don't, 
but some things do. That's kind of how language evolution works, otherwise we'd still be speaking Old English, alright? Like, people use new words. Oh yeah, I mean, she is, like, neurodivergent, so, like, I don't want to be too mean to her. You know? But, like, I actually, well, like, I don't care, though. That's the thing, because, you know, I'm, I'm neurodivergent, too. We're all in a linguistics community online. We're all fucking, <laughs> we're all fucking autistic. Like, neurodivergence doesn't give you an excuse for hate. And just being wrong about stuff. Yeah, that's literally how language is possible. We just invent words. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's not how to say internet. The difference is, the difference is that it's harder to create neologistic pronouns, right? Because of the, the, because of how often we use them in everyday language. It's harder to popularize something new when it's often something something new, right? Right? Wait, 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 sorry, what, that, that sentence made no sense. It's hard to popularize something new when we've already got a word for it that we use in, you know, every sentence nearly. Not in every sentence, but you know what I mean. We use, we use the singular they or the generic he all the time. So pronouns can be a bit harder, but like it happens. Like yell in French, you know, it's catching on. It's getting more attention. Hen in Swedish, getting more attention, you know. Um, a crazy opinion, but I think people used words like person and woman before we even understood how biological sex works, like except the obvious and intuitive, yes. Oh yes, uh, we didn't fucking know what chromosomes were when we invented gendered words. Like, are you are you? Oh, hello, sixty nine mega dot com. Looks like we found a girl for you. Wow. Um. Oh, you had a brief discussion with your teacher about the they video. That's so. That's so fun. I actually can't like. I uh, I actually can't like fucking ban this. Hang on, hang on. I gotta. I gotta go ban this fucker from chat. They did find a girl for you. Actually, they seem to have stopped. I, I'll, I'll, I'll wait for Rosie to get back. She can deal with everything. <laughs> um, guys, you should donate. By the way, you should, you should, you should donate, like, and share the stream. Okay. Um. Wait, Miley. Sorry. What is the definition? What is that definition for? Wait, yeah, M Miley, like, that's... <laughs> this is the thing, these are, these are definitions are circular. Like, try to make a proper definition of fucking human. Yeah, anyway, I, I just mean all... Like, we have loads of definitions all the time that we don't know the proper full definition of. You know, we couldn't make a scientific objective definition, right? But yeah, whatever. Um, looks like we found a donation for Ukraine. Well, I wish someone did find a, a donation for Ukraine instead of being so stingy. All right, a, a, a human, a member of the genus Homo sapiens. I mean, species. Yeah, the species Homo sapiens. Yeah, Homo sapiens, aka wise man. <laughs> like yeah, um, define Homo sapiens. Uh, Homo sapiens are. Uh, a species that 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 have um, uh, <clears throat> that 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 have um, genetic characteristics like that is that are correspond to humans. <laughs> like yeah, okay, <laughs> uh, okay. Gal asks asks. Speaking of gender pronouns, a question: If someone is non-binary and attracted to a binary gender, do you think we should use a binary gendered sexual orientation word? I think I don't care. As a non-binary person who has been attracted to people with a binary gender, I don't care. I say I'm bi slash pan slash whatever and just leave it at that. Like, I don't care. A human is a featherless biped. Yes. Behold, a human. The real the real ones know what I'm referencing there. Um, homo sapiens are sapiens, but gay. Now that is the good ending. That's the good ending. Uh, but like this is what I mean. Like it's all it's all fucking circular, you know. We can't. Yeah, and definitions aren't always used literally. That's very good. 
Language is overrated. Let's go back to just sending signals via roots and fungus systems like the good old days. Yes. Um, that's the good stuff. So I'm a pan sapiens, yeah. Me too. Me, me too, Doctor Who fan, Jay. I, I just you got you guys know what I mean. Like, I watch this. I watch these kinds of people, and I'm like, either I'm crazy or they're crazy, you know. And uh, you guys know what I mean. Well, it's taken off. This, this isn't how language works. But not oh yeah, she was talking about how nothing new ever gets created in language, which is just obviously fucking stupid and incorrect. Um, right, whatever. Um, some pronouns do. Like, wait a minute, hang on. Like they, l like they yet. When literally a new pronoun entered the language from Norse, replaced the native word and was just suddenly used, and now we all just like don't question it. They was literally a neo pronoun in the twelve hundreds. All right, so shut the fuck up. Pronouns can be replaced, and and be and and um. New ones can be popularized. Back again, has she made any actual points yet? She has made some points. I don't know how to repeat them, but I think she's she said that women need to have um we need to have the definition of sex in the Constitution of the United States. Um and she's said that no new language ever gets um Although the, the word "thon" um, never got popularized, therefore no language ever gets popularized. That's basically what she said. She hasn't talked about Grice's maxims again, unfortunately. My my favorite part of this video. None of these have really caught on yet, and so the singular they has survived. They will catch on. We'll make them. The gay agenda. Come on, come on, guys. Let's uh, let's get some emojis in chat for the gay agenda. A 1998 study of natural British English speech found that regardless of gender, class, or level of education, people overwhelmingly used the singular they over the generic he or other alternatives. Right, because Grace's maxims are predictable. Even when- Wait, 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 wait what? Who cares? She merged- Yes! She got the fucking Grace's maxims in there again. Yes! Grace's maxims. Fuck yes. The most irrelevant thing to any point I've made in this video. Like, she just wants to remind us that she's that she's done the first class of foundational linguistics. <laughs> like, who cares, you know? Just knowing what Grice's maxims are doesn't mean you understand their purpose or anything. Oh my god, Grice's maxims. Do you think she wants to add Grice's maxims to the constitution? <laughs> we just, like, enshrine them in law. <laughs> like, it's fucking... <laughs> Put the fucking Grice's maxims up and, like... Like, replace all of this with just the maxim of quantity. <laughs> the maxim of quality. Anyway, sorry. I just, I don't know how to respond to that, because again, it's just like completely irrelevant. When openly asked what they preferred when referring to someone of an un- Dunning-Kruger effect in full effect? <laughs> well, I, you know, I don't want to be mean, but, but yeah. <laughs> Specified gender. Snowflakes, I actually love your video on Singular Day so much, I made my non-binary self so happy. No, I, well, thank you. I appreciate it a lot, you know. Uh, I, I, there were a lot of non-binary people saying that in the comment section, and I think it was worth the amount of hate I got uh, to see that, because there were more people being happy about it than there were people being um, being sad on it. We should have a betting pool on which neo pronouns survive long term. That's such a good idea. I mean, Zer has been around since like the 1890s, I'm pretty sure. I'm glad watching the video helped you guys out. It's basically like, it's kind of based on various arguments that I've had about people, uh, with people about like my pronouns or my friend's pronouns. Like, yeah, like, you know. Oh wait, we haven't even gotten to the bit where I say non-binary people exist. How much do you think she's gonna hate that? Oh God. Thy, thou, the true pronouns. Yes. Uh, or thou, thee, it really should be, if we're going for the nominative oblique. But yes, thou, thee. Um, add cheese time to the constitution. <laughs> yeah, we need to we need to enshrine the def we need to enshrine cheese in law. The only way the only way to protect the legal rights of cheese is to have a strict legal definition of cheese. Uh, plank stick in the U.S. Constitution. Yeah. Okay. Sixty-eight percent of participants said singular. Yeah, yeah, exactly. ZZM has been around. It's been around for a while. Yeah. Make Finnish the world language. Make Hawaiian the world language. Um, that's 
probably what my next video is gonna be about. <laughs> it's gonna be how much English sucks. Um, but yeah. I say that whoever doesn't accept neo non-binary pronouns just invent a pronoun specifically for them and use it exclusively in front of them. I mean, that's, it's just like a kind of a weird thing to do with your time. <laughs> I mean, like, fair, if, if it makes you happy. Zizem. Like, I think people, okay. It, the thing is, though, like, the way I understand it, apart from, like, some very few people, most, most people I've met, including myself, would, like, be fine with being called Zizem. Like, if someone called me Z, I'd, like, be, like, you know, that's fine. Like, I don't care, I just don't want, like, a gendered pronoun, right? Um, do, you, do you get what I mean? Like, I think most people, when they say, like, their own specific pronoun or whatever, it's not really a personal specific pronoun for them, most of the time. Like, not, I'm not talking about Xeno pronouns here, but, like, yeah, most of the time it's, like... <sighs> most of the time it's kind of like, you know, you're just giving a suggestion for something people can use as gender neutral. My, my the main problem I have with Zizem is it sounds yeah because if you're Ger if you're German speaking as well that sounds kind of weird the German non-binary pronouns are so difficult because they no one's have like one that's one out which is a, a big shame because like in France there's one that's like one out you know like Yel is the non-binary pronoun even though it's not like popularized for everyone like but no one uses Ul or Al anymore which they did like ten years ago right like Yel has one out I think in the German the German language is a little bit behind and. Uh, <laughs> You know, we Sad. we do want that. Sad news: no spicy potato. No spicy potato. They were out, so you've just right. got. I think this one's more likely to be yours. You've just got. No, that one's mine. You've just got falafel salad with hummus, obviously. This is fucking great. There you go, darling. Thank you, thank you, my darling. <laughs> if the Z is fine, I don't actually say Z. I say Z because I'm British. Every German language is mine more about Italian. Italian's fucked. Uh -huh. There's no. The answer to Italian, your Italian question is that there's just no hope for it. Sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm people, kidding. I'm kidding. Talking, people talking about linguistics in the, in the chance line. <laughs> so I was talking about like Polynesian Swahili. <laughs> Or something, is that a thing? I Polynesian had, Swahili? They're obviously, they're like Come on, pick up all the Polynesian Swahili speaking they're, speakers they're, in they're chat. Like Irish, so Anyone like, speak Polynesian Swahili? Most them, but they were saying about how it like, doesn't have numbers. Or something. I have no clue if this is I'm talking about Piraha. This was just they're probably talking about Piraha, right? Because like... So you know what's going on. What other languages don't have like number words? Um, they were talking about how in some West African languages there's no separate word for music and dancing. I, so I just got some fun facts in the key. Well, these are just, yeah, okay. All right, that's nice. Yeah, 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 they talk about the, like, the, the adding the schwa letter in time. I don't like it, I think it looks like shit. They should at least use a different letter in the orthography. I don't know how you always manage to make this tip up so high. Hmm? It's like, there's always like a foot above your head. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Sorry. That's pretty too low now, isn't it? it needs to be some, some medium. Um, sorry, what have you guys been talking about? Presumably transphobic for mm. myself. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think you managed to get an extra four minutes in, in the last half hour. We do need to speed this up. It's just like, she's wrong a lot at a very speedy rate. Well, they was the best choice. This form isn't infiltrating the language. It's already here. And no, I know the schwa is not a letter. It's a sound. Well, okay, I mean... Kind of, right? But I don't like the look of the schwa letter that people use, right? Like, I'm fine with them using the schwa sound, but I don't like the schwa letter in the, in, in, because, uh, you've really stopped what you're talking about is, you know, you're, you're using, you're using those, which is, um, transcription for what's being used in the orthography. Yeah, but Azerbaijan, that, it looks fine there. It just looks like shit in Italian. I'm sorry. With an X as well, looks bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like, I love trans people, but you got you got to get your act together linguistically, in Italian specifically. I don't refer to my lamp as they if I don't know that sex because it doesn't have a sex. If it's unspecified, that's a clue. That it doesn't have a gender either. That's a clue that it has a trait that could be specified but isn't being specified. <laughs> if it ain't broke, it has a trait that sex because it language. It's already here. Huh? 
I don't refer to my lamp as they if I don't know that sex because it doesn't have a sex. If it's unspecified, that's a clue. That's a clue that it has a trait that could be specified but isn't being specified. Yes. So? She's talking here about Grosses Maximus again, by the way. She didn't say the word, but she is talking about Grosses Maximus here. But, like, it's completely irrelevant. Like, who, who cares? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. We're, we're not the ones trying to fix it. You guys are the ones with pronoun badges and pronoun earrings. Come on. But so far, whoop. Not what I was arguing about. I'm t I, I separate these. I separate these out. Oh my god, people are annoying when they're stupid. Alright. What we've been talking about is cases where the gender of the referent is unknown, and therefore an epicene singular is employed. Turks know what sex I am when they refer to me as O. They're not communicating a lack of knowledge because of- Case been broken. It's happened. Guys, you have to donate lots of money so we can watch stupid Minecraft videos instead of transphobia. Feature that could be identified so you know, exactly, like, this is what I- this is your brain on just too much theory. <laughs> like, sometimes people- like, this is a, a point that can be applied to beyond transphobia. Sometimes people read too much theory of, like, linguistics, economics, whatever, and they forget what it is they're actually trying to talk about. You know what I mean? Like, they read too much into, like, whatever. Um, the reason I went like that is because, like, her point about Turkish here, um, actually contradicts a point she made earlier in the video. It's also, again, irrelevant. She's just talking around the issue. It's irrelevant. In their language, there's no way to communicate that knowledge inherent to a pronoun. This person's so what? This argument is hinging on the idea that they is the epicene in English, and it is somehow not an epicene even- Nope, that's not true. Firstly, I don't believe it is an epicene, and I've talked about this earlier, you can look back over the stream, I'll make a clip of it or something. Uh, why do trans folks think we parade our pronouns around like a badge of, of wokeness? Putting your pronouns in your bio or whatever, just telling people you like, you like to be called. Um, <clears throat> yes. <laughs> some people do literally have pronoun badges. Yes. Like, talking about literal pronoun badges. But it, like, if we put on, yeah, I, I mean, I mean, I think she is talking about literal pronoun badges, which I have no problem with because I'm like a normal person who doesn't get mad at like what people, you know, go go around looking at people. Why does it say he on his chest? You know. But like, you know, I am. Um... Oh well, no, they say. There is. Say he on her chest, wouldn't they? Oh, sorry. What? Is... <laughs> what does it say he on the chest of this woman? <laughs> There's no such thing as a trans person. Um, wait, if their argument is that it is an existing thing that means the same as singular they, does they, does that mean they're fine with it? It's pro their argument is they don't care, and they just, they, you know, nothing. Yeah, like, it, it, there's no different, there's no issue with telling people how to refer to yourself. Like, um, you, you ever seen employees with name badges? Fucking hell, woke bullshit, man. Even though it regularly refers to sexed living creatures, even though it's the inanimate gender. As I, as I demonstrated earlier, who is it? I'm referring to a sex individual at the- She referred to the inanimate gender, sorry, just a little nitpick. The inanimate gender, so, you know. Clearly that means that we have uh, animate genders. Right, anyway, whatever. Door. When I refer to a child as it, or an animal as it, I'm aware that that animal has a sex, I'm just not specifying it, and so I'm using the epicene singular form, which is it. Yes, and when you do that for humans, you use they. Not they. If My argument they doesn't- To refer to a singular entity, I'm creating an implicature to communicate an additional message of lack of knowledge. Do you think she always really goes really out of her way to not use they to refer to someone she doesn't know the gender of? Uh, well, yeah, probably. No, I get it now! I get it, okay! I wasn't paying attention to what wait, she said. Wait, 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 wait. So what she's saying... To refer to a singular entity, I'm creating an implicature. To communicate an additional message of lack of knowledge. What she's been saying this whole time... Hang on, that still doesn't make sense, because that still doesn't... <laughs> but like, what she's been saying this whole time is that the point is that singular they is employed in order to tell you that you don't know something about the person you're talking about. Which is true of the epicene they, which I've been talking about for the rest of this video. Right? I mean, it's irrelevant though. Like, I know I don't really know what her point is about this, but I finally actually understood what it is she's been banging on about this whole time. 
and why she thinks it's related to. Right, okay, whatever. I can also be creating that implicature with it if I'm referring to an adult human at the door. What about when the gender is known, but that gender is neither masculine nor feminine? Look, non-binary people exist, whether you like it or not. Oh, I'm sorry. Did we run out of rational arguments and flip back into prescriptivism mode, Mr. 18th century grammarian? Deep breaths. This sounds like coping. This sounds like coping and seething. I'm sorry. That wasn't a rational argument either. I mean, this person doesn't know what a rational argument is, so. So I mentioned in the beginning of this video the distinction here between semantics and mm -hmm. grammar, otherwise yep. known as syntax. Yeah. Uh, and so, so in, in English, you have two genders. We have animate and inanimate. We don't have a masculine and feminine gender that things without sex get assigned to. The Why? What's the difference? Grammatically, what's the difference? The way that Spanish and French and, and Italian do. We just don't have it. We have some fossils from words that were taken from languages that do have it, which is yeah. why boats can be she. But, but otherwise, if I'm using the word it to refer... Thoughts on boat vagina. So, gender. <laughs> it's not as funny with the um, female sexual organs. As it is with male sexual the organs. Time yeah. covered in cock. Yeah. Um, so if we're not prescriptivists, then we all, yeah, exactly. Wait, what? Oh, she doesn't like non-binary people because she's deranged. That's the whole premise of this video, that she doesn't like non-binary people and is working backwards from that conclusion. Yeah, I mean, that's like... That was her ultimate conclusion, and everything else is just a kind of... The prescriptivism of I exist, exactly, yeah. It's like, I exist. No, you don't. Go to a child, it's not because I don't know that that child has a sex. It's because they're in the inanimate gender, because they're small and you can't visually determine their sex as easily. Same reason as animals. Uh... She does it, children. Okay. <laughs> she says it about children. <laughs> Statements about reality and statements about a specific language are not the same. That has that all been? Well, yeah, no, it's... It, it, gr grammar and semantics are different. Also, yeah, okay, the fact that she feels that we can grammatically distinguish between it and, like, animate and inanimate genders in the English language. Animate and inanimate genders. And then, but we can't distinguish between the masculine and feminine is insane. The only distinctions between animate and inanimate in English are phenomenal ones. They're only pronouns. So, and so is the masculine feminine. Alright. What is her issue? You're in the jaws, honey. <laughs> Take some deep breaths and eat some jaws. What her issue is, her issue is that she hates people like us. <laughs> I know what you're trying to say. Alright. <laughs> Um, but but uh, you you are communicating uh, a, a gender assignment when you refer to a child as it, which then creates the implicature that they're not human. And then we often generally will will, will uh, cancel that implicature because we'll, we'll we'll realize it as we say it, and then it will feel wrong. So we're actually seeing kind of that shift in real time, where perhaps children will be moving out of the inanimate class. And there's also uh, some discomfort referring to animals as inanimate this is so funny. when we know that they're in fact uh, semantically. So what she say that, that until she sees somebody's like until someone has obvious sex characteristics. And she doesn't see them as, and she can't tell what their sex is by looking at them. She re thinks of them as an it in her mind and as inhuman <laughs> until it is obvious. But she's saying that somehow, you know, it cancels out in your brain. Because you're like, this is a child, not an animal. So you know not to refer to it as it, and then you use other inferences to guess what their pronouns would be. Was that what? Which is why Epicene they is so obviously useful. Oh my god, we just solved the problem! <laughs> if we don't know their gender and we don't want to make them sound inanimate, we can- Jamie, E, you are the smartest person I've ever met in my life. That's, in that's amazing.
That's fucking. That's that's fucking mind blowing. I just remember from the perspective of like her brain, like the idea that is she seeing everything as an it. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know how to understand this woman's brain. Exactly. The, the true nature of them, we understand that they are actually animate creatures. They're not inanimate creatures. But okay. that's the difference between a gender. And, and a semantic assignment. So when we assign he and she, that is that not a gender. That is a sex that. assignment. I'm We're assigning on the basis of sex. We're not randomly assigning people to genders. That's not how it works. So you can't just add a gender. Because... Oh my god. I'm not sure whether she was saying that's not how our brains work. We don't call everything. I don't. I don't care. Well, <laughs> I don't care at this point. What if she can't tell an adult gender? Ooh. What if she can't? Yeah. <sighs> If you can't tell an adult's gender, she'll scream and throw a rock at them. I'm sorry. She'll hate crime them. I'm not trying to spread fucking libel about anyone here, but like she would. Alright. You can add a gender though, it's a social construct. Yeah. She probably does think she could always tell someone's gender. That's actually so true. She probably th always thinks she can tell someone's sex. She probably thinks she can always tell someone's biological sex. You, like... Some- you- you know this- like- I can just tell, like, some people just don't have women- womanly energy. Well, exactly, it's like- it's like some people just don't look like- like, you guys know nothing, man. Yeah, like, there's so many- there's so many trans people that I know. Like, I've seen them interact with, like, transphobic people. Transphobes have no fucking clue. No clue. Mm. If I saw her without her speaking, I couldn't tell her gender. I can't- I couldn't tell her gender even when she was speaking. Especially knowing that, that yeah, she transitioned and be transitioned. Yeah. I- I didn't fucking know. That's why they themed her for the first, like, half of this video. I think it's more so gender roles that social construct. I don't think gender is- gender is somewhat tied with neurology. Like, there's some evidence that you- you can develop an, a concept of your own gender in, like, a, um, in a vacuum. Mm. But like, I don't know. I think mostly it's like a social concept, right? Like, there's no. I, I don't know. I, I just I fail to see the kind of. Like I I know the whole like blue brain pink brain kind of argument. I don't really like it. I think it's easier to make a kind of Wittgensteinian linguistic argument. Um. Of course you'd say that. Of course I would say that. If she can't tell someone's sex, she will assume that it's male and say that's and and say that's feminist of her. Yeah, possibly. I don't want to make assumptions like that, but mm. the way we know gender can't really be fully neurological is because of the different ideas of gender we've had in different societies in different times, right? Seems like that's making a distinction between gender and gender roles. Gender, gender, gender and gender roles are kind of slightly different, yeah. Yeah, no, so I, I know you meant sex, yeah. But yeah, no, um, I, I think that, like, we can kind of show that gender is a social construct just by the fact that different genders have existed. Gender is just confusing as fuck, and if we really, if she really doesn't like it, she should help us abolish it. That's what I'm for, All right? Because semantically, there's no third sex. I know that you're a man, or I know that you're a woman. You're Do you? You're asking me to pretend that I don't know that there's only two sexes. You're asking me to lie! Okay. She keeps saying this. Mm -hmm. well, she keeps saying this because she's a piss baby. Alright. <laughs> <clears throat> That's not resort to name for But like she is, isn't she? But you don't want that online forever, really. No, really. <laughs> Maybe, mm. maybe in regards to this specific mm -hmm. person. Yeah. What's fucking falafel? I'm so nervous. I love learning about- Yeah, no, I, I, I get what you mean, I get what you mean. Gender, like, gender is confusing. Sorry, what was it you just said that was, like, so ridiculously stupid? Assignment. We are assigning it on the basis of sex. We're not randomly assigning people to gender or man, or I know that you're a woman. You're asking me to pretend that I don't know that there's always two sexes. You're oh yeah, there's not always two sexes. Anyone who who's, who says this, like, appealing to biology, doesn't know anything about biology. There's not two sexes. There's a great article in the Scientific American about this. Uh, it, was, it was just like a... Uh, I'll, I'll... As opposed to the American mind. As opposed to the American mind, yes. <laughs> the publication where she is published. Um, 
I'm not sure we're going to have time to go uh, to see her article. I think we might actually have to end stream in like 10 minutes. We will. Hmm. Yes. Oh yeah, because of intersex, yeah. Biologically, sex is a spectrum, yes. Biologically, sex is bimodal, which means it has two peaks where people are likelier to be. But overall, it's a spectrum, yes. Um, my understanding of it is that the social construct is the labeling used to interpret one's mental, neural sense of their own gender. My understanding of it is who cares? Gender's fucked. <laughs> let's let's end it. Um, I mean, she's lying this whole video. This whole video is just a combination of lies and like fallacies. Anyway, whatever. You're asking me to lie, and I'm not interested in that. You can give your whole extremely logical, biological, scientific. Yeah, this is so funny. Of, I'm actually so funny. If you want to. Thanks. I think I'm gonna make a video. We can very easily establish that gender and sex mean different things. Yeah. Coat posting. That's what I was talking about. That different societies at different times have had wildly different gender systems, and that people are identifying as non-binary. Sex is not gender. That's correct. He is assigned on the basis of sex, not gender. That's why I don't refer to lambs as he. Are we... What? Very easily established that gender and sex mean different things, that different societies at different times have had- This is not gender. That's correct. ...and that people are identifying as non-binary. Sex is not gender. That's correct. He is assigned on the basis of sex, not gender. That's why I don't refer to lambs as he. Oh. The fuck does that mean? Oh my god, <laughs> okay. Well, like, it does obviously- it's obvious what she means, it's just dumb. No, what does it mean? So she's saying that she doesn't use someone's pronouns based on their gender, she uses their pronouns based on their sex, and that's why she wouldn't call a lamb he. You. I think. Wait, yeah, yeah hang on, yeah, what the fuck is- <laughs> that statement was, <laughs> yeah. I'm just assigned pronouns based what? on gender, also on sex, not gender. And then I wouldn't call a lamb he, but surely if you're assigning based on sex, then you would. But you wouldn't say, not call a lamb he- Oh, lamp! 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 lamp. Oh, I was so confused, was sorry. So confused. Yeah, no, okay, so that is what she's saying then. That is what she's that saying. That is what she's saying, okay. The pronouns are sex based rather than gender based, which is what she's been which saying. I've already which I've already debunked. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. I was We've got our linguistics hats on here, so we like the definitions of words, considering other cultures and okay. talking about people's American lived experiences. You are prescribing me a different way of talking that you think is more correct because you believe there's this third category, mm -hmm. and, and you're just going to shove it down my throat, yes. and we have left the realm of descriptivism, and we are squarely in prescriptivism yes. now, and that is not a linguistics thing. Non yes, it is. <laughs> what? Yeah, we're talking about... Oh no, actually, hang on, this isn't- this isn't prescriptive. Hang on. Hang on. This isn't prescriptive, this is descriptive. Look at the claim at the top. Non-binary people exist. Gender is not equal to sex. Different gender systems in different times and places. People are identifying as non-binary. Is there a single prescriptive statement on the screen at that moment that I've said? Or anything that I've said? No. It's all descriptive. She just doesn't like the descriptions that I'm saying. She just doesn't like the reality, basically. She's coat posting about not liking reality. Well, this is literally just real life. Right? Like, the, all of this, it's all descriptive. And, and you're just going to shove it down my throat. And we have left the realm of descriptivism, and we are squarely in prescriptivism. Ah, people identifying this way. Yeah, no, she was continuing the lamp example. From she was, yeah. I just neither of us could understand her voice. Um... Yeah, occasional art. That's pretty based. Yeah, that is prescription. Of course it's prescription. But I'm describing reality here, and she's saying we're in the realm of prescriptivism. Even though we haven't actually got there yet, I do make prescriptions in the video, but not yet. She's actually completely wrong here. I don't- I'm not sure she knows what prescriptivism is. I think it's just when it, there's facts that she doesn't like. I think that's prescriptivism for her. And that is not a linguistics thing. Non-binary people exist, and it would be nice to be able to refer to them. The non binitarians can cope with he and she. Maybe we should count ourselves lucky that English- non binitarians What's that... a binitarian? Did she say non binitarians As non-binaries? That's so fucking funny. <laughs> uh, can cope with he and she? No, we can't. We can't cope. We're all mentally ill pieces of shit, man. Like, we cannot cope. Seriously. I know several people who would kill themselves infinitely if that became the Exactly, yeah. Alright. Okay, we're watching the end of this video, then we're ending stream, guys, so, you know. W consonant or vowel? Both. Alright. Like oh yeah, we've been watching- we haven't been watching this video the entire time, but we, we took a break, we took a break.
We've been streaming for nearly seven, I think. French or German or Arabic. I know. It's not a linguistics thing. I want to hear my, vo my own voice for a little longer because you know, <laughs> I'm so correct. Exist, and it would be nice to be able to refer to them. The non binitarians can cope with he and she. Maybe we should count ourselves lucky that English isn't like French or German or Arabic. Since we already have an epicene singular animate third person pronoun in everyday use, why not use it for non binary people? Because you are asking me to change how I talk to conform to your religious beliefs. <laughs> yes. Do you think this person would get mad at me if I blasphemed in front of her? Just a consideration. I don't believe that non-binary people have some other third sex. <laughs> That's not what I'm saying! Okay, whatever, whatever. I'm not going to pretend otherwise to make them feel like I'm part of their church when I'm not. non -benetary. If you guys want to refer to yourselves this way, go right ahead. But when you try to shove it down my throat and make they denote lacking a sex, make they denote being in the non-binary church. You are forcing me to acknowledge your religion every time. Guys, who, all right, come on, in chat, who, which ones are you in the non-binary church? So it's pretty, come so on. pretty much the cliff notes of the argument, uh, pronouns refer to sex, not gender. Yes. There is no non-binary gen, uh, no non-binary well, sex. Yeah. Therefore, come on, guys! Come on, guys! We can you can join the NB religion right here. The gender religion starts here today. I quite like the end, the idea of an ender religion. You know how people say <laughs> men from Minecraft. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and, and oh, she does have definitely have a persecution complex, and obviously she's still like a minoritized person as like a woman. Stop shoving it down my throat! But yes, she does have persecution. Complex. You're asking me to lie. Uh, her two signature phrases, which are very persecution complex. Yes, um, but you yeah, know we can all start the gender. We have fifty nine viewers at the moment. You're all the first members of the gender church. You know Come what on, we could do before right? Gender church. You know what the membership fee for the gender church? Is? <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a there's a membership <laughs> fee is is donating to Razom Ukraine. <laughs> guys, guys, the stream's if, about to end. Let's push over the next. Like I don't know what we're on. Forty or something. Like if everyone donates, you just need to donate one dollar and you get to join the gender church. I'll make a I'll make a note of everyone who's donated. The, the the funds to the gender so the gender church is called Razom Ukraine and then you give your money to them in the donate money section and then then you get to be part of the gender church C come on guys join the gender church so only 32 pounds until the gender church is <laughs> 1.8k come on guys if you want to sign up you got you can I use paypal or credit card <laughs> Also, also, if we get to, I think we said 1.9, that won't happen before this stream ends, but next stream, Minecraft videos. No, yeah. Uh, K is unlisted Minecraft <laughs> So you'd really be doing, um, a big, a big win. A big win for Rosie, who hasn't seen them. Okay. Can I buy gender indulgences? <laughs> yes. You can buy them from my vendor called Razam Ukraine. <laughs> okay, go on. Gender church apartment. Do you not have PayPal or a credit? Like, a debit card also counts. Just like any online payment. Yeah, thing. any online payment thing. I think else. they take Apple Pay and shit as well, probably. Google Pay, I'd imagine. I don't actually know that. Alright, whatever. Time I want to refer to you. And that makes it makes requires me to participate in your religion. It requires <laughs> me to learn about it, and it requires me to know the rules of it. And and No, I need to learn about my not no. No. It's, it's so hard for me. And to, to to act like I believe in it. I don't. Do I, I take No, I don't take stream money. I take the the money goes to Razam Ukraine. The, the stream money is all for charity. It goes to, um, like, medical supplies in Ukraine. You can also do donate on the, um, the I link in... Still have the link to the yeah, the... If you, if the, you want more details. It's and the Streamlabs... Humanitarian aid. The Streamlabs char charity. Money donated by the gaming app Steam. I'm afraid I can't take that as a donation. I if you, if you find a way... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. I don't! People do say that again. Okay, well, she doesn't want to be part of the. Oh, the... what's her response to it being too confused? Because that's what she's been saying. In non-binary church, you are forcing me to acknowledge your religion yeah. every time I want to refer to you, and that makes it makes it requires me to participate in your religion. It requires me to learn about it, and it requires me to know the rules of it, and 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 to 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 act like I believe in it. I don't. How? How does it require you to act like you believe in it by by using such? Firstly, everyone should believe in it, though. Yeah, no, sure. But it's also um, just like, you wouldn't say this of an actual religion. Yeah, I, you wouldn't I, be like, oh, you're a rabbi. It's really shoving your religion down my throat to make me refer, refer to you as a rabbi. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. like, it's so... Oh, no, I have, to learn, I have to learn about things that are not myself. No. Yeah, it, it is very much like persecution complex. Like, um, yeah, like, it, it, persecution complexes are very egocentric. But so, yeah, it, it is very much like I don't need to learn about things that aren't in my, like, immediate... Um, 
you know. I'm broke and a student. Can I still join the gender church? Well, you guys, you guys are you all. You could like and share. Well, you guys, you no could like and share. There's I mean, no real point liking and sharing at this stage. In my, in my <laughs> heart, you are all, you are all gender church participants. That's this... actually all the K Clive like, <laughs> like sub bases. Yes, if you, if you make a, if you make a subreddit, it's got to be called R slash K gender K gender church. I oh, know, men like, and you know how people have like names for their subscribers. Oh yeah. Like you know, jo join Greg or whatever. That's like Danny Gonzalez as well. Jo jo join the gender <laughs> church. <laughs> yeah, okay. join the gender church. I'm the gender perp now. Um, this woman does not get to be part of the gender church. And Tom, Tom Scott's the devil, as <laughs> Trudeau. <laughs> yeah. But are you the god of the gender church? Would you rather be the pope? I no, guess I'm, we're, we're I'm, praising I'm the pope. Gender. We're, 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 we're not. We're not making <laughs> idols of ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> we're worshiping the gender. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, God is non-binary in this religion. Uh, yeah, acknowledgement of Hinduism does not make me a Hindu. Yeah, like, it would be nice if everyone could join the gender church. But even if you're not going to join the gender church, like you, you can just be nice. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> The god of the gender church is just, like, a black fucking... Thomas... What was it? Fucking non-binary Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> yes, black non-binary Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> I don't! People do say that it gets confusing, and I can sympathize with this. Yeah, the whole idea that you're already using it for this, and therefore it's not hard, but also he understands that it confuses you to, to make this change. It, it's a gaslight. <laughs> they. Come on, they. we all use singular you, don't we? It's not ga... Wait, hang on. Did you just call it gaslighting? <laughs> That's not what. Ga yeah, this person. Okay, Gaslight, whoever said whoever, whoever, said whoever said persecution fetish in chat fetish in chat. You're so correct. What if Barbies? <laughs> Wait, Dutch payment cards? Wow, that's so fucking um, weird. Maybe try the link in the description. There's like no, nah, no, no, because it's just oh. not possible. It's just not fucking possible. But like, can you never make payments online <laughs> internationally? That's so weird. Yeah. It'd be nice to have like another couple of donations before stream ends, which will be like imminently, mm -hmm. imminently. If anything, it's simply gaslighting, gatekeeping, gatekeeping, and girl bossing. I'm not even gatekeeping though. Like, sure, I'm girl bossing, but I feel like it's antithetical to gatekeeping to say everyone can do whatever they like. Yeah, like I'm, I'm doing the opposite of gatekeeping. But like, you're always girl bossing. I'm always girl bossing. That can't be helped. Yeah, I mean, like you know, it's just kind of who I am. Understands that it confuses you to to make this change. It's, it's a gaslight. It's, that's not what gaslighting means. Has anyone, anyone? <laughs> Oh, Antikrim, you, you donated. So you are part of the gender church. Congratulations, welcome. Come on, we all use singular you, don't we? You can mean a singular person you're talking to, several people you're talking to, or, well, people in general. In if you denotes multiple people, where did y'all come from? Well. Wow. Okay, so she's like Southern American, so she doesn't get this point because she doesn't understand that different dialects have different concepts. Why did we derive that form? Just Indo-European. Yeah, I mean, we don't say y'all in Britain, so. Wow. Well. She should just learn, I guess. Languages we can include or exclude yep. the listener. In German, Z can mean she, they, it when referring to a feminine noun and the formal you. Both Is she going to talk about verb conjugations? Uh, she, maybe, she probably doesn't know enough about linguistics to talk about verb conjugations, but I don't know. Both plural and singular. He's saying that because other languages are they. different, it's okay to prescribe us this change. That's like fucking ridiculous. Anyway, whatever. It's, it's not. In French. Th that's not a point. That's a non-point. I'm not going to respond to non-points. The points. vast majority of verbs, unless they happen to start with a back. That's true, she hates learning. Oh my god, this whole video is just she hates learning. It's a whole coat post about not so liking they real. Say he, yes. they, they, they so do say yes. I think it's so good. Maybe we should just roll that out. Yes! Oh yes, talking yeah. about it. Great yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I know y'all is a contradiction of you all, yeah. Oh, oh wait, yeah, no, that does that does kind of... She was arguing from etymology earlier, so let's, let's argue from etymology ourselves. Oh, you can't tell the difference between the singular- Yeah, <laughs> gaslighting is when other people use different language from you. It's very <laughs> scary. No, gaslighting is when you have to learn things. That's what- that's her number one hate, uh, hatred of the- of the third person. Est-ce que j'ai pas le français? And everyone gets on fine with- Boasting that she can speak French. But like, I'm right. The singular and plural third person. Est-ce que j'ai pas le français? Whatever, I'm right, she's wrong, you all know it. And everyone gets on fine with this, because they're used to it. The sooner you get used to calling people they, the sooner it will cease to be confusing. So is this the way that we already talk or not? <laughs> Thanks, Bimgus. Bimgus is back from our stream. Bimgus! <laughs> we have somewhere to go. We have somewhere to go, unfortunately. Oh, there may well be alcoholic beverages consumed later this evening, but probably not on stream. 
Um, next time, perhaps. Maybe mm. we do a New Year's one or something. Yeah. That would be cool. Yeah. I don't think we're going to do a Christmas one. No. Nah. Nah. Okay. The sooner it will see. You'll just have to get to 100k subs. There's, yeah. no other, there's nothing else for it. Mm. Come on, guys. Do your work. So is this the way that we already talk or not? I thought I'd been speaking like this for 700 years. Yeah, she hasn't listened to the video, has she? Because again, she doesn't like she doesn't like learning. You're so so true. What I was talking about in the first part of the video was the epicene name, which we've been talking about for seven hundred years, and now I'm saying that we can apply this, generalize this to non-binary people, which is their accept whose acceptance in society is a newer. Was well, a renewed concept. It's right? a renewed concept, yes, and therefore, you know, we can try use singular they with a known antecedent. And then suddenly it's something I need to practice to, to get used to. Yes. I don't I don't actually have any obligation to learn another language, just to please you, unless that's actually a core job requirement. Are, are you paying me to learn this other language? Or is this a tax on, on the, the people uh, living under the, the uh, transdimitude? You guys really hate it? Yes. We are. <laughs> She's so funny. I hope she never finds out about schools. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pay her. I'm not gonna pay her, guys. I'm not gonna fucking pay her. Um, you know, if you click, click. Oh yeah, if you, if you click the link that says donate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To res it's actually it's actually donating straight to this YouTube channel. Okay. <laughs> to make sure she can go to school. <laughs> yeah. It's really sad. Find it too bewildering or too grammatically incorrect? Then you can go for the alternative. She's the Charles C. Converse. Wait, hang on. What's she say? With neo pronouns. Neo pronouns. Why would that be easier? I don't know, you tell me. You're the ones who don't want to use singular they. Because after all... I do not want an interview with her, oh my I god! Love, I love the Marina Joyce thinking <laughs> she did as well. <laughs> what could be more grammatically incorrect than using a gender pronoun? She's gonna say it's a sex pronoun, which is untrue. Someone ...which doesn't match their gender. How about I use the Broca's area programming that was given to me by my mother? It might have been damaged, for all you know, and therefore less resilient, less plastic, less capable of, of just practicing and changing to, to suit you. You know, this this is going to pave the way for employers to discriminate against older people. <laughs> yes! <laughs> what the fuck was that <laughs> argument? All right. This is not a thing that, like, older people can't use their pronouns. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, her whole argument earlier is old people are too stupid. <laughs> yeah, Luca, I'm, I'm gonna bring her on for a debate. <laughs> I'm gonna debate her. I, like, I'm not, I don't want to talk to this person in real life. Like, she just, like, shouts slurs at me. Okay, would ask a, okay, would ask a question and she'd say they- <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> she'd say they'd used, they used questions incorrectly because it violated a maxim. <laughs> <laughs> And also, she'd have to learn something new to us. It's so true. That is persecution. This is literally, yeah. Should Would I... you describe this as a pragmatic response to Kay Klein? <laughs> this is like this is like a psychotic response to Kay Klein. This 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 does need to be retitled. <laughs> um, oh yeah, it, like it, it's it's persecution when I when I don't follow the crisis maxims. <laughs> not, not gonna do. <laughs> trans yeah, no, this is the thing. So it's so great ling such great lingo. I actually gotta start using it. The screw it, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I but I couldn't teach her. No, I'd love to, but I couldn't because she she would just like she would just like cry. You know what I mean? She would just like start like coping and seething. You know, you violated crisis maxims. Stop. <laughs> Stop talking. I have no idea what that person's qualifications were, but if you're curious about my qualifications, I have a bachelor's. No one cares. <laughs> Literally, no one cares about your qualifications. Qualifications don't Today's matter. Qualifications, what? Being a girl boss in a ball. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, my my qualifications is ratio. The fact that my video has nearly three hundred thousand views and yours is like two thousand. That's <laughs> that's my qualification. <laughs> yeah, but it's like the same. It's the same type of argument as starting to sort of state or like list off your qualifications. Oh sure, sure. That's the same this, argument. This is true. It's just like it's just like an appeal to authority. Well, I guess technically my one would be an appeal to popularity, but it's authority induced by popularity, right? All I'm saying is we just got. Kate should become the, the judge. Jars place, so yeah, we did. That's actually pretty good. That kind of implies a level of education that she'll never get. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, did someone donate? Lewa, you've donated in the streamlabs. Thank you for being the last donation of the stream. Nice. Legend. <laughs> my qualifications are using they them pronouns. That's actually very sure. Hmm. Hmm. Judge Studio of Thank you so much, we love you. I will become the Judge Studio of Linguistics, I already am. You know, if... 
If you guys ever want me to watch linguistics videos that you think are bad on stream, I will happily go through them and pick through them with you. And we can learn together. We can we learn and laugh. We can become a reaction channel. <laughs> we can become a, a, a linguistic-centered reaction channel. Because it's cheap content for me. Yeah, get, get on making that subreddit guy. Yeah, appeal to popularity is just the appeal to the authority of the mob. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Lindsay. But, like, it's the same type of argument, you know? She can list off her qualifications. I can just be like, well, I'm a YouTuber with more subscribers than you. Like, no, that's... It's, it's obviously 